हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल एजाम फार्मेसी यस टुडे लेट्स डिस्कस हियर सम ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन फार्माकोलॉजी एंड टॉक्सिकोलॉजी ई आर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दैट इज सेकेंड ईयर डी फार्मेसी न्यू सिलेबस दोज ओवर स्टडिंग इन न्यू सिलेबस फॉर देम द वीडियो इज वेरी यूनिक वेरी एडवांटेजस वीडियो सो डोंट स्कीप दिस वीडियो वॉच दिस वीडियो ऑन टिल लास्ट के यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ यूनिक के इन सेन बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो so let's start the video and also and the notes are available don't worry about the notes okay the notes are available in the whatsapp number you can there you can whatsapp me it's long essays first you know that your pattern has been changed they will ask long essays they will ask short essays and one marks but here in this video no one marks only long essays i will discuss and short essays i will discuss one mark question we'll discuss later okay one 20 25 questions i will uh, prepare and give you you read that 20 25 questions definitely from that 20 to 25 questions so one mark question you will get at least 10 to 12 questions you will get yeah first one is uh, define various uh, route of drug administration with advantages and disadvantages try to write the answer at least one page or one and a half page two page you have to write for this five mark define various route of drug administration you know that what is the route of drug administration so it is the route okay it is the way in which we are administrating the drug to show its a therapeutic effect many routes are there oral route rectal route sublingual route okay sublingual means it comes under the parenteral route inhalational route are you getting these all are the routes and you have to write advantages and disadvantages for particular route next one is a write define drug absorption and factors affecting what is this absorption of the drug absorption means the drug get absorbed where from the small intestine and it transported to the systemic circulation factors many factors are affecting drug absorption physiological factors okay phytochemical factors physico chemical factors these all you have to write down then define classify drugs used for the myasthenia gravis here see whatever they give the drug whatever it may be just you try to write the definition of that drug classify that drug myasthenia gravis classify the diseases of the drug and sometimes what they will ask means uh, they will ask uh, the drug of the particular disease now for an example see nsaid that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drug in that they will take uh, and tell you write the pharmacological action of ibuprofen or write the pharmacological action of paracetamol this is the classification which comes comes under the nsaid ah that also you have to remember define and classify myasthenia gravis then write a note on nsaid same you have to write here first define this nsaid classify that then you go on writing the uh, you know that you have to write the pharmacological action contraindications uses side effects these are fixed for every question then uh, write a note on anti cholinergic drug this one then we write a pharmacological action and classification of general anesthesia general anesthesia and local anesthesia from these to one is fixed hypnotic and sedatives then eighth question define and classify pharmacological action of anti hypertensive drug fixed question this time then the drugs used in the atherosclerosis define classify pharmacological action of the anticoagulants in this you give more importance on warfarin and heparin yeah then bronchodilators many bronchodilators are there salbutamol bronchodilator many bronchodilators are there go through that bronchodilators then short essays let's move towards the short essay so write a note on anti ulcer drug write a note on purgatives laxatives if they ask catheretics means the same you write don't worry then write a note on anti diarrheal drugs the, the drugs which are used to treat the diarrhea then contraindication of diuretics directly they will ask your contraindication but you don't write directly contraindication write the definition of that drug and write the uh, you classify that diuretic then you go for the pharmacological action you take particular drug and explain about the pharmacological action side effects and all write a note on anti thyroid drugs anti thyroid drugs clotrimazole anti thyroid drugs one point you remember never ever read only these uh they were asked anti thyroid drugs you just read anti thyroid no in that anti thyroid drug some drugs are there carbimazole it is anti thyroid drug okay you have to learn about that carbimazole hmm this point you remember why because means sometimes they will ask right the pharmacological action of this carbimazole 
at that time what you will think so this is out of syllabus sir has not not told this question no it comes under this anti thyroid only physiological and patholog pathological role of vitamin d3 and calcitonin write a note on insulin and anti diabetic agent anti diabetic agent glibin thalamide glimi pride metformin valsartan mm, not valsartan glibin thalamide metformin okay and some of the biglunides these all are the anti diabetic agents okay glycoside hmm. then physiological role of histamine it is also called as autocoids histamine physiological role but write that write a note on penicillin and cephalosporin then fluoroquinolones these are the antibiotics anti malarial drugs write a note on this anti malarial drugs define and classify neoplastic agents the drugs which are used to treat the cancer then the last question define definition types and indications of the biological agents with example here biological agent means some of the microbes we are using to treat the diseases cancer many those which are unable to cure some of the biotechnology some of the biological agents we are using here to treat the such diseases okay those diseases which are not reactive for the other drugs they shown their resistant power to the other drugs so we are using some of the biological agents either they may be viruses we are using or either we are using some of the different types of the biological agents we are using okay uh, vaccines we are using so you go through this very important question and uh, if you want the notes means you can whatsapp me here is my whatsapp number and all you will get here and so thank you subscribe our channel let's jump pharmacy so try to share this video with your friends if possible i may upload other subject also thank you